anybody ready for some Christmas content? Well, it's my channel, so here we go. So for the makeup look I am planning to do today, I was looking at various different palettes. The Carnival 3, it has two blues in here. I love them, but they're not quite the shade that I would want them. So then I picked out Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette. And to be fair, Amsterdam is probably the closest to what I would want on majority of my lid. But the closest one, I think will be the Jawbreaker palette because it has delicious, they're very dark navy, soaked which is perfect for majority of the lid, then it even has brain freeze or cute, it even has a white. For majority of my makeup I'm going to use this, I might dab into the carnival for the black. That was the longest, most unnecessary intro ever but I just wanted to show you that you don't need to use the same palette as I am, use whatever you have. It is time to prime my eyelids and I've been back into this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. The reason why this makeup is nice and simple is because I'm going to use my good old friend tape. The most difficult part is actually sticking it where you want it. And the makeup look I am strongly inspired by, I first saw on Celebrity Drag Race and Alyssa Edwards wore it. I'm obviously doing a different colour scheme but she had those like little diamonds on her lid and I was like, I want that. And then I saw Lipstick Nick did a look on Nikita Dragon and it was sort of similar vibes to what I'm doing today so I'm kind of inspired by those two. I'm going to take Virgin a white shade so pick out a white shade in your collection. I'm going to start on my inner corner and wisping it up into the crease and even above towards the brow. I'm only doing this on the inner half of my lid. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and begin to do that blend. As I said, I want majority of my look to be this kind of blue. So I'm picking up Soaked and I'm going to put this on my mobile lid. Starting from the middle of my lid, close to the lash line and wisping it out onto the tape. And then I'm taking that colour as far as my brow ends. I don't really want it any further than that. And then I'm simply going to clean off my brush and blend the edges. You are welcome to use a clean one, clean brush if you like. And then you can even take the brush you were using to apply the white and use that to blend the edges as well. Because I want this nice and opaque, I'm going to add another layer of soaked. Looks like I might need an angled brush and a little bit of soaked to go super close to the lash line. I basically want like this liner, this thick almost liner look. So it needs to start very thinly from almost my inner corner there. Can you see? Shall I use Brainy Freeze or shall I use Cute? I'm leaning towards Cute, but Cute is a little bit green. So I might use Brain Freeze. I'm putting a smidge of this right where Soaked was blended out. I just realised you could do this look with the Alyssa Edwards palette, I think. Alyssa Edwards palette has a black, has a blue, a very nice shade of blue and a white so you could sort of build that gradient with those three shades. I'm going to take Virgin again, the white, to put on the edges. I'm now taking a pencil brush and finally going to dip into Delicious and then this you don't want to take out too far. Do it in that outer corner only. Of course, make sure it's nicely blended. So I'm taking the brush I was using for soaked and blending that in. 
Blending is the most important part of this makeup look because you want that gradient effect. I was never like the biggest fan of blue, but wow. And let's just go for it. I'm going to take a little bit of black beach from the Carnival palette and I'm adding a little bit of black on that outer corner. And you've guessed it, a little bit of delicious on top of the black to blend it out. And then a little bit of soaked to blend out delicious. I mean, that's why some people like to do that technique of packing on the shade and then blending it out. So they would start with the black and then blend it out with delicious, blend it out with soaked. But I always find that I uh, end up applying way too much shadow that way. And it's just not as nicely blended for me. Some people have the ability to do it, but I don't. The moment of truth. Will this work nicely? Did I take it out too far? Actually, I could have taken it out even further, but that's okay. And the aspect of this makeup look that makes it look stunning and very Christmassy in my opinion is the rhinestones. So I'm going to add a couple of gems uh, onto my eye, onto my outer corner and build almost a gradient as well. By the way, you wanna leave your crease free of gems because otherwise you won't be able to link properly all right i think that's enough gems i wish i had more um gradation when it comes to gems but it still looks cute it still looks nice let me do the other eye real quick and i will be right back okay the other eye is done i had to finish the eyes off with that little bit of elongated inner corner and I like it. I like the makeup look a lot and as you all know after doing my top lid I like to go and do my base and then I finish off the eyes so I'm going to start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. I have tested this recently and I really like how it looks in pictures. It's not the most long wearing but it just looks so so nice it does look flawless when you put it on so that's what i'm gonna use see it looked so pretty it is not fully like settled in yet and it already looks really really nice so speaking of settling i'm going to let this sit on my face as i move on to my concealer and there will be a bunch of new products in this video because um trying them out I bought a load of stuff during Black Friday sales so yeah for my under eye I'm going to take the Jouer high coverage the reason why I bought this was because I love the foundation so so much so I wanted to try it out and it was on a sale it just had to happen you know and it looks cute. The shade I got for myself is Wheat. For the absolute longest time, I wanted to try out the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass Set and Bake Powder and I, I've got it. I got the shade Translucent. Hopefully it's not going to be um, dark, but I doubt it, you know? I don't think Kimchi would have uh, done that to me. Ooh. Oh, we've got it in some packaging inside as well. <gasps> and the sticker is a donut. Oh my god, that's so cute. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take some as I need to set my under eye. In fact, let's check. Did this concealer settle? It did for me, but I have a very deep under eye lines and i always 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 set my under eye powder so the coverage is nice it really reminds me of the conceal and define infinite concealer that looks nice it's not darkening my um, under eye which is good okay all right kimchi you are onto something the only thing I don't like is there's no actual stopper or anything. So if this goes anywhere but on your 
stand or anything. It's just gonna go everywhere. The top is gonna get full pretty quickly. For my contour and my bronzer, I'm using a combination of products that I've been obsessed with lately. It is the KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Palette for my contour. I'm gonna contour first. This is a nice palette because it's not like super cool tones. And because my foundation is a little bit darker than my eye primer, I'm going to take that um, yellowy shade on the brush I was using for Virgin in the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to very lightly just put it on the edges to blend in my eyeshadow into my base. And I was going to bronze but I'm not going to. The eye look is quite cool toned and if I were to put bronzer it would be too much of a contrast between the tones. I kind of like this contour. It's sort of warm. It, it's nice. It complements the eye look. Uh, for the blush, I don't know if I'm going to add blush either. Why am I lying to myself? Of course I am. And I'm going to use the palette for it. Uh, let's take F-U-C-K, my favourite shade to use as blush in this palette. And I take a little bit of Wow as well. It's going to make a peachy corally blush. Which will contrast with the eye makeup. So I'm going to just build it gradually and sparingly. Just want a little bit of life into my cheeks. If anything, I'm probably going to highlight at the very end. Recently, I haven't been highlighting and I've been enjoying it. What I need to do now is tame these brows because I look horrendous. And for the brows, I am using yet another new product to me. This is the West Barn Soap Brows, the original brow soap. And... Um, I've been looking for a dupe or a replacement for my Revolution Brow Styler because I go through this thing so quickly. You get five grams of soap in this product and I just go through it like within a month. You get 25 in this. I have tried it a couple of times now and I like this. I've put a little bit of water in and then I take my spoolie, I just take some of the soap I have been trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly and a little bit more conscious of how much product I use up, how quickly, etc, etc. So, 25 grams in comparison to 5. The packaging, it's, it's huge, you know, it's all plastic. This is tin, so I can always just use this for like some kind of mints or something. I know you probably didn't think that I have such strong views when it comes to brow soap. When it comes to filling in my brows, the products have not changed. I am using my angled brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in medium brown. I use the same technique, but I just fill my brows in more. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you can hear my neighbor drilling, and I'm sure you can, then I'm sorry. Hopefully he'll stop pretty soon. Time to finish off the eyes and I'm gonna start off with soaked and I'm going to start off in the middle. Okay, I love soaked so much I've put it all over my lower lash line and I'm gonna blend it out really, really well. You know what, actually I'm going to take a little bit of brain freeze and then a little bit of virgin to blend it out. Okay, and I do need just a little bit of Delicious, that darkest navy blue in the palette. Let's put some mascara on and some falsies. Because the eye look looks incomplete without anything in the waterline, I'm going to use a little bit of a blue pencil. And finally, for the lips, I'm going to start off by outlining my lips with the Barry M Lip Liner in Toast. And for the lipstick, I'm using Flesh Pot from MAC. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the final wintry, smoky cat eye with some gems. I hope you like it. 
it is something different it is kind of simple but very festive in my opinion i don't want this video to be super long so if you want my opinion on the new products that i use in this video i'll leave my opinion in the description box so you can read it i think i might wear this on christmas because it didn't take that long if you skip the gems it's like 20 minutes i like it i hope you like it too if you do make sure to like comment subscribe but for now thank you so much for watching you are the best and i hope to see you next time